Hey guys, Allah, I am in Barcelona and I want to take you on a room tour of my apartment. It's a pretty tiny apartment, we got it for one month, but all the details about how much it costs, how we found the apartment and all the other conditions, I'll leave towards the end. At the entrance here we have this huge, um, huge wardrobe and ugh, let me show you everything that it has. Basically this is just, you know, stuff to clean around the house, all sorts of boxes, and more importantly, the washing machine. Maybe you haven't seen this type of washing machines. I think they're more popular in Europe. So you kind of open it and then like you put all the things in there. And the machine has a washing cycle and also a drying cycle. I should say that the dryer has not been working as expected. So after actually washing the clothes, you have to hang them around somewhere in the apartment to dry, which is defies the whole purpose of having a dryer in your house. And then here we have all the cleaning supplies. There's a vacuum cleaner. Generally the apartment is older and more worn out than what we saw on, um, you know, before, before booking the apartment. There are all sorts of, you know, leaks like this. Basically our uh, clothes hang at the, at the entrance. Our big luggage didn't fit anywhere, so we put it there. And now we go into the main room, which is the kitchen and living room. I really like this room. It's full of light and um, during regular days we spent most of the time here. So let me first uh, show you the kitchen. Medium sized, but it has everything that you need actually to be cooking here. The cutlery goes here. We have everything that we need. You didn't buy anything here. Um, then some snacks. What else? cutting boards, oven, um, uh, cooking surface. This is really good. We didn't get a kettle though. So whenever we need to boil the water, we use this one. The tap water in, um, in Barcelona is pretty bad. That's why we always buy the water from, from the store and use it for cooking or drinking. Uh, we got a toaster. Having a dishwasher machine in an apartment here, it's pretty rare, as well as having a separate dryer. So most of the washing is actually done by hand. And then here's the space where we kind of, you know, put our coffees. All the cups that you see here were in the apartment. Pots and pans. This is what we have, you know, stuff for cooking, stuff for teas. And then the pots and pans. Everything we, we have to buy, like the oil, the salt, the washing detergent for dishes. A regular fridge. Just showing you how it looks inside, you know. It's a medium-sized fridge, I would say, like on the smaller side. And then there's the freezer. This is the table where we eat. Uh, this is also the table where Eugene works. Uh, not very comfortable, but uh, when you stay so much time in the house, because we are not only having vacations here, we are working here. Uh, so we brought our Apple TV with us and we have a smart TV, hence Netflix. You see, there are a lot of details where you can just see that they didn't take good care of the apartment. like. It's ripped at the seams and then there's just some oily stains here. Something I think they could have, um, they could have managed. Uh, but we seldomly use the sofa this way. We usually pull it out like a bed so it has more real estate and hang around here. And then you have this um, uh, balcony slash window. Um, it's a really modern one. So that's one of the things to watch when you are coming to Barcelona in winter is that you have good insulation. If you see those, very beautiful, uh, but all windows, this is not a good sign because there will be a lot of draft coming from the windows. These are actually really good. It opens on a small balcony. I'm not gonna go there because it's <laughs> kind, of, kind of cold, but we have a lot of light, which I like, and we can have a good glimpse of the neighborhood here. The apartment is located in Raval, which is one of the recently gentrified neighborhoods. Some consider it to be a bit, you know, dangerous. Um, and there are a lot of immigrants here, but uh, it's pretty colorful. I like it. We don't get as much light though but I would not call this an internal window. So there are two types of, of windows. And usually when you rent an apartment, um, they tell you which type of window will you have. So internal window means it's going to look inside of the building and external like to the street. I don't know which one is this one. But in the bedroom here, <laughs> we have an internal window because our window looks directly at a wall, which is not a problem because I, you know, I don't want my bedroom to be full of light. So a bed. Um, for me, it's perfect, but for Eugene, it's a little bit short, so his feet are always going outside of the bed. Uh, two bedside tables, obviously we charge all our devices here. So this is the dressing part. 
Uh, we have a big window here, very cool. And behind the window we keep, like I don't know what it was intended for, but we use it for dirty clothes. So then we do laundry and it comfortably fits there. And um, then, you know, just a regular wardrobe. Uh, it has a lot, a lot of places to put clothes. So we don't feel like we, you know, we need extra space. It's actually like really, really good here. I feel like the majority of the apartments in Barcelona will be on the smaller side <laughs> compared to other countries. Well, maybe not Japan, but let me know how this apartment compares to uh, one bedroom apartment in your country. I'd be curious to, to hear. And then the last room we are going to visit is the bathroom. Okay, this is it. So the bathroom is also pretty good. Um, it has a very unusual shape. So um, right here from, you know, when you enter, there's this rack for drying towels. You can connect it, make it hotter, cooler. So our uh, towels are always dry and hot and nice. Uh, the sink, uh, the only thing that was here was shower gel, everything else we, we bought. They also have this really cool storage space that we can put our stuff on. This is the shower. And our shower has a problem with the door. Although we asked the landlord to fix it, now it's been two weeks uh, since we uh, started living in the apartment and it's not yet fixed. So uh, Spanish people are just like very relaxed about a lot of stuff that gives me anxiety as a Moldovan. And this is the place where um, we have the toilet. Um, it's a close place in the apartment, that's why we try to keep the door to the uh, bathroom actually open. And now I'm going to show you what an internal window means. Remember I was telling you some windows are internal. Everyone's bathroom goes out in this yard. It provides proper ventilation. It also saves um, some space because you don't need actually big windows in the bathroom. So that is it guys for the tour. Uh, now let me tell you about the details. The apartment is a whooping 2,000 US dollars per month. I know it's a lot. And uh, the price is in the non-touristic season. So we're coming during the winter, uh, namely in the month of January 2022. So this is a huge amount of money. And the real estate that I have seen on Airbnb, because that was the place where we booked the apartment, was basically from $1,500 to $2,500 to similar apartments to this, where you'd be the only person or couple that would be living in the apartment. We were not interested in, in rooms. The price here in Barcelona includes all the amenities and the biggest amenity in the winter is obviously heating. We have central heating, so this apartment is always uh, warm and cozy and that was super important for us. Secondly, the apartment is renovated. As I mentioned, uh, having bad windows or bad doors in winter is you know, pretty uncomfortable because there's a lot of draft and wind coming and we have, you know, in that regard, we have pretty good conditions. However, the apartment is not as good as advertised on Airbnb. Uh, there's a big difference between the photos that we saw and uh, the actual conditions uh, in the apartment. So that was a big minus, although we communicated with the landlord, I don't think they will change anything. How did we find the apartment and why did we decide to go with Airbnb? Well, um, I've tried uh, many ways of finding an apartment, but the problem is if you are outside of Spain and if you want to be sure that you'll have an apartment for the next month and not be looking during the first week, you actually can't um, uh, rent it on the websites like Idealista. Uh, which is a real estate um, a website because you have to be in Spain and check on the apartment before renting. And if something on Airbnb happens with the apartment or it's like worse quality or it's a scam, you can always write to Airbnb and they will return your money back. Another drawback of the process of uh, renting an apartment the traditional way versus Airbnb is that upfront you have to give, uh, I think, one or two months of deposit, then pay for the price of your apartment, so the third month, and then pay the commission for the realtor that could be like one month worth or half month. That's like three and a half, four thousand dollars that we have to pay up front and then pray to God that uh, when the rent expires in a month, the landlord will not have any problems with, with the apartment and will give you the deposit in full. <laughs> that, was, that was all guys. Let me know uh, if you travel to Spain, what was your experience and how much did you rent a room slash apartment for? And then I'll be happy to know if you didn't come to Spain yet, what is 
um, a good price for such an apartment in your home country. Is it cheaper than $2,000 or more expensive? Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.